What's the standard protocol? What's As lawmakers on Capitol Hill grilled contractors about the technical glitches okay. that have plagued the rollout of healthcare.gov, the new federal health benefit exchange, the spotlight has been on Kentucky for a different reason, its success. Since the beginning of open enrollment, thousands have been able to sign up for insurance through the state's online exchange called Connect. We've had sort of a perfect rollout in Kentucky. That's not to say that next week something might not go wrong, and so we're going to be vigilant. We're going to stay on top of it. According to the governor, 26,000 people have signed up for medical coverage. More than 300,000 have visited the exchange website, and more than 51,400 have started filling out applications, like Dorothy Bender. She's in the market for insurance after losing her job in April. It would mean a great deal, especially for my son, because he, is, he had a collapsed lung in April. And he's not been able to get back to the doctors. So she's come to Family Health Centers, a not-for-profit community health center where workers are helping people get signed up. Our outreach enrollment workers are booked every day with individuals, um, helping them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and we have just a stack of sheets of follow-up for, for, for folks that we're going to call up and get in here as soon as we can. Kentucky's Democratic governor, Steve Bashir has supported the Affordable Care Act, while both of the state's Republican senators, Mitch McConnell and Rand Paul, have opposed it. Bashir says expanding medical coverage can only benefit Kentucky, which ranks near the bottom when it comes to comparing the health of all 50 states. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.